The Tampa Bay Buccaneers head to New Orleans for a little grudge match with the Saints, Jameis Winston getting his first start against his old team. His old team, though, not really regretting swapping him out for the older gentleman they picked up. There really isn't much to say that everyone probably doesn't already know. Tom Brady looked great again last week and has looked that good all year for the most part. Look at that pass. I mean, just exactly where I had to be. It almost caught itself, right? His performance last week was Sands AB, which just meant more action for Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. With a strike to Evans over the middle. Caught by Godwin for the touchdown. Their passing attack is first in yards per game, and it fuels them being top 10 in points per game on third down and in the red zone. What a turnaround just in time. With all that said, the Saints' defense is not an easy one to complete passes against. Sure, they gave up that one long TD last week. Going up against a guy who's that big and strong, your margin for error is slim and none. But that play was pretty much it, as in that was basically half the yards they gave up the entire night. Shot, sideline, and it goes incomplete. And this is a team that's locked up passing attacks to one of the best ratings in football, a respectable yards per attempt figure, and one of the lowest completion percentages. That was just a prayer throw there, and it looked to Oof, me, we might have a pick there. Their pass rush has helped. They had a five-sack night last week. And he'll go down, and making sure that was Demario Davis. And they've been able to pressure QBs at a solid rate all season. Got to go forward, Lewis. You go backwards, you're going right into the hands of Cam Jordan. But getting to Brady will be a challenge. Zero sacks allowed last week, just nine taken in seven games. A perfect strike. I mean, Brady just reading that. So let's talk about the character who was spurned, Jameis Winston. Bucks fans won't necessarily recognize him anymore, or at least not his stats. He's been able to shed that old INTMO. Wow! Looked like a colossal mistake, and instead it turns into a touchdown. He's done that by making better decisions. The Saints' wide receiver core is not the strongest, so he throws to Alvin Kamara more than anyone else, especially last week. And that's the play they've loved all night. Alvin Kamara. He will be up against a secondary that's been mixing and matching bodies, but it's been working. Tampa Bay picked off Justin Fields three times last week. Just throws it right to Delaney, just not a good ball. And after starting the year in rough territory, they gave up a minimum of 260 yards through the air in their first five games. They've held the last two QBs they faced to under 170. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down Tampa's, they're gonna win. And maybe the biggest reason for their turnaround, their front four is healthy, and that's not leaving opposing QBs with much time. Four more sacks for the Bucks last week. JPP apparently is a very good player. Oh, unable to slip out of it. JPP. The Saints haven't given up many sacks, and that's partially because they have adjusted to their circumstances by throwing less, a lot less, like they are last in pass attempts. But last week, the last sack Winston took was a good example of how he's changed. No crazy pass attempt as he was going down. Winston gonna be a loss. But with fewer pass attempts, it means Kamara has been seeing the ball more on handoffs. And on third and ten, to turn and hand it to Kamara, what a play call. The problem is, is he's not really a King Henry kind of back, so the increase in carries has also come with a decrease in effectiveness, which you see in his yards per carry figure. Again, it's Kamara, spun around, and he's gonna lose yardage on the play. The Bucks' rush defense, though, has been uncharacteristically vulnerable in their last two games. They've been almost impossible to run on, but apparently Levante David is also a very good player because the holes that have been opening up have been doing so ever since he got hurt. Look at him go all the way down to the Tampa Bay 46. No matter what he says, you know Jameis wants this one bad, like really bad, I bet. He wants to show his ex that it's working out great since you left him, and if he can pick up this W, what do you think? Tell everyone in the comments section if you think he can pull it off, or if the Bucks are the ones marching on. Get that? Here's our panel's picks. When the Saints.